What I got going on here is a knife preview, if you will. But I'm not going to pick on any one specific knife. Basically, what I'm going to do here is give you a recommendation for the top three knives, production knives, that I think exist today. Why am I doing this? Because there is a big clutter of knives out there. Tens of thousands of knives and half of them aren't even worth owning. I mean, you ever notice these television channels where they want to sell you a thousand knives for say like a hundred bucks or something? I'm going to guarantee you that stuff's all garbage. Okay, right off the get-go, this is a custom-made knife that I had built for me back in 1997 and it cost me $200. And my congratulations and kudos goes out to all the private knife makers or custom knife makers. But there's a fellow up in West Yellowstone, Montana, by the name of Huey. I don't seldom see knives. And this knife right here was built especially for me. It's my own design. It's got nickel silver bolster. And on the rear here, it's got pack of wood handle. Uh, 440 stainless and whatnot have you, but like I say, most people cannot afford these custom made knives. Uh, so I thought I'd get that subject, you know, because these custom made knives can get, I mean, they can run into the thousands and thousands of dollars. Set that aside for a second. Okay, here is one, one of three of my top choices. This is a bench made Griptilian. Okay, follow that. That thing opens up very, very fast. It's got a Shep, Shep's foot point on it, hollow ground blade. The stainless on this is 154 cm. It is very, very lightweight. It has got a Kevlar handle, pocket clip. Just a definitely, if you're looking for an EDC everyday carrier, Everyday carry, excuse me, I would look any further than this Griptilian right here. This will set you back between $80 and $100 depending on where you buy it. Okay, moving right along here. Another choice in my top three is Knives of Alaska. And this sheath I know looks kind of weird. It's got a flashlight hooked in it because this goes in my survival pack. But these are made in the United States. Same, same with this Griptilian here, and this is a Lone Wolf by Knives of Alaska, and you need to check out all their offerings, because these are just really decent knives. They use D2 tool steel, uh, special temper on them. It's very light. It's got a sure grip handle on it, uh, but just check them out, because... Charles uh, Allen owns that company, and he is, they primarily make knives for hunting and skinning and that sort of stuff, so you can't go wrong with Knives of Alaska. Okay, so I'll put that guy there away. Now, moving right along here, Puma, German-made Pumas. These are about as close as you're going to get to a handmade knife custom handmade knife. This particular one right here is what they call a Pro Hunter. It's a gut hook, if you will. It's got the proprietary German steel in it. It's a special mixture of steel. And as everybody knows, that Solgen German steel is some good stuff. It's got a European stag handle. Just a, just a beautiful knife. Has nothing to do with these cheapy knives, believe you me. Here's another Puma right here. This is a PAL-2. It is a hunting knife. Really nice handle on this guy. I like Pumas because they're relatively thin in here and uh, in the backbone of the knife. They got a good good grind on them. And like I say, it's a, their own blend of steel. You just can't go wrong with a Puma. Okay. And right here... I've owned this knife right here for quite a few years. This is a Skinner by Puma, and I really like the way that they put these little lanyards on these handles so we, this knife can't get away from you. I've used this knife a lot. It is a Puma Skinner made in Germany because Puma has 
what they call their offs they've got some offshore products it's called SKB or SGB I'd stay away from them if you're gonna buy a Puma make sure you get one that's hand tuned in Germany if you will in their sologen plant all right let me put that down there real quick and my last Puma that I've got here is a Puma buoy I own four Pumas and I'm very proud of them and these are the knives that I carry most of the time when I'm hunting Okay, and that's what a Puma buoy looks like. Now, most people would think that a buoy would be the type of knife that you couldn't pack around, but you can on this guy right here. So there you have it. These are the knives that I'm absolutely recommending. Puma, Knives of Alaska, if you will, and Benchmade, especially the Benchmade folders. They do make... The last four or five years, they started making hunting knives. Uh, these the, these bench maids, by the way, are made in Oregon City, Oregon. And I do believe these knives of Alaska here are made in Texas. But I know they're made in the United States with, like I say, D2 tool steel with special tampering. And, of course, the, these Pumas right here are made in Germany. But you definitely want to, you know, get, you know, don't. Don't get those out offshore pumas. They're no good. So there you have it. And I hope you learned something here because you just can't go wrong with, like I say, either a Benchmade, a Knives of Alaska. Check out their whole entire selection. And you definitely can't go wrong with these pumas right here. And that's just all there is to it. And this is just my opinion for what it's worth. But, because there's a lot of junk out there on the market. Like I say, they got television shows where they're hawking knives all day long. And they wanted to give you, a, like I say, a, a thousand knives for a hundred bucks. But you're, I, 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 you're making a mistake by buying that kind of stuff. You know, I never go anywhere out in the field or do anything without packing a couple of knives with me. And this, this bench made here, I pack it all the doggone time. And it opens up very, very fast. Got a hollow ground blade and whatnot have you. Okay, thank you very much for the movie review.